the R&B and the soul thing, soul pool. And I remember him saying, you know, you have to do this song called A Song For You. I don't know if you know that song, it's a Leon, Leon Russell song. Um, but most people know it by Donny Hathaway's version. And if you know this song, you know that it's, it's, a, it's a staple that established singers do, like Christina Aguilera, Aretha Franklin, like all these wonderful voices have done it, and they have the street cred to do it. <laughs> and he's like, you should really learn that song. And I'm like, I can't sing that song. I'm just a jazz singer. He's like, no, you're not a jazz singer. And I didn't really understand it. And so he started introducing me to Ray Charles and to Aretha and all these wonderful artists. And he's like, Dion, this is you. This is your sound. And he saw it and heard it before I even realized it. So to make a long story short, when he passed away while we were working on that show, I kind of took a hiatus because I realized that my mentor was gone musically and I didn't know what I really wanted to do and I had to find my voice and find myself and I really truly believe that he's always with me and that he has inspired me along with a lot of other wonderful folks but he's brought me to where I am today where I can say for certain that this is my voice this is completely unique to me I call this the Prairie Delic, sorry, Gospel Delic Prairie Blues. It's never been done. I don't know where it came from. So I know Gospel Delic, hashtag, Gospel Delic, hashtag Prairie Blues. And it's my blues. And I'm going to tell you something funny. And I, I, I'm dead serious about this. When I started learning about the blues and wondering how, how I was going to sing it, I thought I wasn't black enough to sing the blues. <laughs> but, no, but seriously. Because most of the artists that I read about and that I saw, they're from the South, they're homeless, or they, they had a very, very raw upbringing, and, you know, like they're slave owners or slave slaves, sorry. And so I, I couldn't relate to that, which is why I couldn't relate to a lot of the blues that I listened to. And so in my journey, as I'm learning, I realized that this is my blues, which is coming from church, finding my way back into spirituality, and telling and singing my story, which is my gospel-delic prayer blues. Wait. <laughs>